He bred a Mastiff-type dog to a Greenland Husky, and Chinook was born. Chinook was the originator of the breed. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dog breeds you've never heard of. And we came across the Thai Ridgeback, and that's how we discovered the breed. We started doing our research, and it took us a good eight to nine months before we found our first Thai. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the cutest, most lovable, and obscure dog breeds that have been kept on the down low. Which of these adorable pups is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Catahoula Leopard Dog Named after Catahoula Parish in Louisiana, the Catahoula Leopard Dog was originally used for hunting. Because they're a rare breed, they haven't been overbred, and they truly have the same instincts that they were intentionally used and bred for. Thanks to their strong sense of smell, Catahoulas have also been used in search and rescue missions. These pups definitely take the term work hard, play hard to heart, as they're known for being affectionate love bugs at home. They're very much a pack-oriented dog. They love their family. They love to be with you. They're also excellent swimmers. So if you have a pool, a Catahoula might decide to take a dip in it. So the Catahoulas originated in the swamps of Louisiana. Their webbed feet really gives them an advantage to running through the mud and the muck. Since they are the only breed to have originated in Louisiana, it's fitting that they're the state's national dog. Number 9. Moody. A relatively new breed, the Moody is originally from Hungary. Very rare dog, a Hungarian Moody, to compete here at Cross could even be the first one. They first appeared around 1936 and sadly almost became extinct during World War II. Today, the Moody is a cute little fluff ball who loves exercise. Since they were originally bred to be herding dogs, the Moody is happiest when they get to play, frolic, run, and give their human friends lots of love. Look at the height of that jump, it's amazing! <laughs> Even though Mudik have grown in population, they're still relatively rare. The majority can be found in Hungary and Finland. They are so darn adorable that we're tempted to move to Hungary just to get one. Number 8. Thai Ridgeback They're a very um, ancient breed. They're not crossed with anything. Um, they were bred to hunt cobras and keeps the snakes at bay from the house. One of the few breeds that has a ridge on their back growing in the opposite direction, the Thai Ridgeback is a natural athlete. Known for their high energy, Thai Ridgebacks were initially bred as hunters and guard dogs. They still maintain these characteristics, which is why they aren't the most ideal breed for first-time dog owners. So they're very protective of their property and very uh, aware of their surroundings. Thai Ridgebacks need to be slowly socialized and challenged due to their high intelligence. Once they become accustomed to their families, Thai Ridgebacks bring new meaning to the phrase man's best friend because they are fiercely loyal and caring pups. They require a lot of exercise, I think, especially in the early years and training and trying to have a well-rounded dog is very important. Number 7. New Guinea Singing Dog These pups don't actually sing, but that doesn't mean they don't try. Affectionately called singers, there are only an estimated 100 in captivity. With ties to the Australian dingo, the New Guinea Singing Dog lives in the New Guinea Highlands. Rather than bark, the New Guinea singing dog makes a distinct howl that sounds like they're trying to carry a tune. Opera singers love these dogs because they can hit all those really high notes. On occasion, these pups howl together, which is known as chorus howling. Today, many of the locals in New Guinea have adopted these puppers, and quite a few have been crossbred, which is why they're such a rare breed there are hardly any left living in the wild. This is such a rare, beautiful fox-like dog that it's a shame there aren't more. Number 6. The Azawak With origins dating all the way back to ancient West Africa, the Azawak was used as a guard dog and to hunt gazelles. The theory is that the nomads and the sighthounds got separated when the Sahara Desert um, dried up, and so they interbred with the bush dogs of the region, and they've been around for thousands of years since then. They can run up to 65 kilometers or over 40 miles per hour, so it's not much of a surprise that they're ideal pets for runners. They're a lovely dog, have lots of loyalty, lots of drive, lots of athleticism. While still considered to be relatively rare in North America and Europe, 
the Azawak is beginning to make its way around the world. If they are well-trained, the Azawak love showering their families with lots of love. Kaylee works with dogs for a living and says she's never felt such a connection. And there's nothing like this bond. They can even get along with what most dogs fear the most, cats. Number five, the otter hound. And this is a very sound otter hound striding out really well keeping the back line, the top line beautifully, plenty of reach in front and powering from behind. An extremely rare breed, the Otterhound is endangered with roughly 600 left in the world. Just as their name suggests, they were originally bred to hunt otters. When the river otters were invading the fishing streams and the fish was the primary source of food. When otters started to disappear in England and once otter hunting became illegal, they were not bred as much. Otter hounds are known for their shaggy coats, webbed feet, and love of swimming, which is no surprise since they were expected to hunt otters. While these pups do like exercise, they can also be cuddly couch potatoes who want nothing more than to snuggle up with their human pals. They do make good pets, but they are scent hounds, so they are really a nose on four legs. Number four, the Stabiun. Considered a national treasure in the Netherlands, the Stabion was first introduced to the rest of the world in the 2000s. It's a really loyal dog, it's a great companion, and they do love being with their people. These black and white cutie pies were first bred to hunt foxes and became quite adept at catching moles. Today, Stabions make great family dogs due to their gentle and calm nature. They're particularly good with kiddos and, like most children, enjoy a lot of physical exercise. They're incredibly gentle with both you know, young and, and older kids. Since they first live near the coast, they are excellent swimmers and enjoy dog paddling whenever they can. Thankfully for those of us who don't live in the Netherlands, they are starting to appear in many countries. Good boy. Down. Number three. The Slugi. She's very affectionate, and the puppies need love and warmth from day one. But if you're not a seasoned dog owner, be prepared for a challenging time. Also known as the Arabian Greyhound, the Slugi is an ancient breed with roots in North Africa. They go back so many centuries that drawings of them have been found in tombs in Egypt. Today, many Slugi are still used for hunting. Interesting facts. This dog is one of the best at lure coursing. That's like uh, tearing around a track like crazy after a mechanical rabbit to you and me. If you are looking for a companion who won't want to leave your side, then a slugi may be for you. They are very attentive to their family members, although they are a bit shy around new faces. Slugies have been described as graceful and elegant, so if you do get one, be sure that you can match their poise. Training can be a challenge. She's a clever one with a great drive to chase anything and everything. So maybe think twice if you have a cat or smaller dog. Number two, the Chinook. The official state dog of New Hampshire, the Chinook were first bred to be sled pups. At nine weeks, these sled dogs are ready to pull their first sled. Well, they've got to start somewhere. The Chinook is a crossbreed between a Mastiff and a Greenland Husky. Their name comes from the first dog that was used to produce them, who was named Chinook, which in Inuit translates into warm winter winds. And he wanted to develop a breed that not only could pull heavy loads, but that was also great with the family. He called it a gentleman's sled dog. Chinooks are eager to please and respond well to lots of attention and care from their families. They're little scholars who love learning new things. If you have another pup, a Chinook will most likely try to make friends with them because they get along with most other doggies. <laughs> My good boy. My good boy, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Norwegian Lundehund. Just as their name suggests, the Norwegian Lundehund hails from Norway. Their name is literally Puffin Hound, as Lund means puffin and hund means hound. They were first designed to hunt puffins and their eggs, which are often found on difficult to reach cliffs. So these dogs have an anatomy that they could literally scale the cliff to get to the puffin bird in the nest. If a Norwegian Lundehund ever decided to take up ballet, 
they would probably do well due to their flexibility and six toes. Look at Harvey's little thumb. I know they're not thumbs, but I'm calling them no, thumbs. No, the, the ones on the top are called dew claws, but that's one of the anatomical uniquenesses of this dog. They have six toes mm. on every foot, including a dew, a dew claw. While Norwegian Lundehunds look very cuddly, they are not. These pups are not ideal for families but instead are great for someone with a very active lifestyle as they love exercising. That's just another reason why they would make great ballerinas. Really neat dog. Now these dogs have uh, just great personalities. They're extremely loving uh, and uh, very extremely playful, too, very right? playful, absolutely. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.